Turns out Moses Lake's sand dunes have similar geographic features to the moon. That's why NASA is testing a special fleet of robots right here. Welcome to the surface of the moon. Uh, this dust is magnetic and electrically conductive, which is similar to the lunar dust. But mainly it's got some uh, slopes and soft soils and wide open spaces, and that's really what we needed to test our machines. These sand dunes in central Washington beat out 15 other sites. NASA's testing robots around the clock for their next mission to the moon. The scale of this site, the terrain of this site, is something you just can't find uh, in most places in the world. Terry Fong works on the K-10 robot team. The black and red pair are responsible for scouting out terrain, scanning the ground, and drawing up maps. They're being controlled from 3,000 miles away in Houston, but can think for themselves. They are smart enough to avoid running into obstacles. They're smart enough not to try to go places where they might get stuck. Also being tested is the Crew Mobility Chassis prototype. The estimated $4 million lunar truck has a tough job, carrying heavy loads and up to four astronauts. This is a robot called Scarab. It's uh, designed for exploration of the polar craters of the moon. This rover is responsible for drilling on the lunar surface where NASA hopes to test core samples for hydrogen, oxygen and water. Then there's this contraption nicknamed Athlete. It can carry entire habitat modules. These robots will roam around the dunes until Friday and be retested this fall. Neighbors are excited to have NASA in their backyard. This is all going to be on the moon in a few years' time. That's, that's something that is really amazing. As this Moses Lake mission winds down, there's only one future focus. We've been told to, to return to the moon by 2020, and that's what we're going to do. Don't expect to see these robots on the next mission to the moon. NASA says their grandkids will be on board. Reporting from Moses Lake, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4.